Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? Happy Sunday to you all. Welcome to Violet Buzz TV. Uh huh. <laughs> and to all my returning subscribers, you guys know I love you so much. Like the space you occupied in my art is massive. Thank you for the massive support on my channel, and thank you for loving me just the way I am. And to you guys that are just going to see this video for the first time please kindly hit on the subscribe button and put up the post notification so you will get notified whenever i upload a new video like i said earlier in my previous video i will make sure i will try my best to make sure that this year i will give you a very good video good content good talk show that you would love and you will want to share with your friends as well god bless you <laughs> You guys know that your girl is always excited. She's always happy no matter what. Like, no matter what, I'm always a happy soul. Thank you so much for the, the love you guys are showing me. I'm grateful. God bless you all. And today, you guys know why I'm extra excited today. Because today, I'm going to be talking about my mentor, my love, like my inspiration, the one I look up to. Yes, on this YouTube, in this YouTube journey, in this YouTube that we have, I have three, three, like theory, one, two, three, three good uh, mentor, like someone you look up to that you want to become or you want to do things the way they do. These three people, the number one of them is Lily Pope. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> All my orca people, yes. So I be beniway love orca. Yes, now you guys know. So I won't be mentioning the other two people, but as time goes on, I can as well share them with you. But today, let's talk about my number one. I'm reacting to a video today about accepting infidelity in a marriage. Please, guys, no bad comments. Everyone is entitled to say his or her mind. Yeah, you are all open to your own opinion without insultive words. Like you are seeing this thing, yeah. Eh? <laughs> Me too, the thing shocked me. Oh. I don't even know what is it. I woke up and made them um, and saw it there, and it just remained there for about three or two days now. Please, if you know anything that we used to remove this thing that's just giving me uh, stress on my face, please kindly leave it on the comment section. You want to know what my opinion uh, uh, my opinion is on if accepting infidelity in marriage, reacting to Lily Pop video. Please don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and let's continue watching. Mwah. <laughs> Okay guys, like I said, we all are entitled to our own opinion. You guys can say what you what you know about this particular topic, accepting infidelity in marriage, in your marriage, in or in marriage. So, I'm reacting to Lily Pope TV and she makes some points. Yeah, she brought out some points how she could or how she accepted infidelity in a marriage and when i look around a comment session i saw some negative comments i saw people saying no on this topic mama we don't agree to it mama <laughs> and so many people are doing videos reacting to this particular topic and i said like uh, eh, me i cannot be left out to <laughs> Based on number one fan of Lily Pope, me, I cannot be left out. So, I'm here to, to give you the point that I agree with her and also the point that I disagree with her. I'm sorry, I'm not saying I disagree doesn't change your opinion or change your mind, but the things I know that I cannot accept as a married woman as well. Yeah, yes guys, I am married and I will tell you why I will not accept those things. First one, Lily Pope said that it is left for God to judge men that cheat. Exactly. I agree with you, Mama. It is left for God to judge men that cheat. But that doesn't give them the privilege to go and cheat. Yes, if to say eh, God won't judge people immediately, like when you do this thing, immediately God will judge you. I don't think that there will be so much uh, bad people, that there will be so much 
people that are evil. Yeah, let me put it that way. Evil people in the world. You will see some pastors, they will, they will do evil behind closed doors, like how to grow their church, the things they did in secret just to have members. And God will just give them time, like time to change. You understand? So also it goes to the men as well. Men that cheat. How which as they cheat, God they treat their fuck up instantly. Then if for good, but saying uh, living, uh, God is going to judge them when they cheat. Exactly, God is going to judge them. But how long will that be? How long? People are dying from diseases. Innocent women at home that doesn't know what, how come this disease came into their body. Their husband brought it home to them. So. It's somehow, somehow, like an innocent person will be suffering from what she doesn't know how it came. Why the man just went there ignorantly to do that thing without even thinking, oh, I have a wife. Yeah, on this point, like God will judge them. God will judge the men that cheat. Yes, God will actually judge them. But how long will it take? How long will God want to change them? How long will God judge them? Is it until they finish the innocent women they are bringing these diseases to, or this disgrace, or I don't know. So that is the first um, uh, word that Lily Pope said, that God will judge these men. And I totally agree. But on one side, because God is going to judge them, but how long will God judge these men? And she said, number two, naturally, naturally, men don't know when they cheat. My sister, <laughs> men know when they cheat, even if they are being charmed, like they know when they cheat. You said to, men have two brains, one up here and one down below. That God, we should pray that God should give us the man that can control their two, two brains. So I'll let you know, I'll tell you why men know when they cheat, because if they do, if they don't know when they cheat, it's somehow like they will not be afraid, their behavior will not change. Immediately they know that they have cheated. You will see some of them, not all. You will see how they are going to do to their wife, like, oh, their mind, their conscience, conscience without judging them. I just did this to this innocent woman. Oh, I just cheated on my wife. Why? Because they know, if they don't know, meaning they shouldn't, they couldn't, um, how would I put it now? One, they, if they did not know that they cheated, hmm, they will not come realizing, oh, what have I done? So, mommy, they know, they knew that they cheated. Yes, no man that cheats doesn't know when they do it. They actually know when they do it. Yes, they actually know when they cheat on their wife. Yes, mama. This one, I don't agree with you. I know it's your own opinion, but they actually know when they cheat. And you also said, number three, that no man that doesn't cheat, like no men that don't cheat. No, 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 no. I'm not going to come here to see to tell you that my man doesn't cheat. No, I'm talking about men in general. There are some God-fearing men that don't cheat. Yes, there are some men that even if a woman open everything to him, he will definitely don't want to test it. He will definitely don't want to see it. Yes, I agree on this and I stand on this, mama. Not all, not all, not all men cheat. There are, there are so many, so many God-fearing. I'm not saying he's a pastor, he must be a pastor. I'm saying God-fearing men that doesn't cheat. Even if they are not God-fearing, but if they love their wife, like her. She said, don't cheat. Uh, she said that she, will, she told her husband that the husband should not cheat around her. Like, she should, she, the, the husband should not cheat around where they live, around the people she know. If you tell your husband this kind of thing, it will actually give him the courage to do it like, oh, okay, now my wife said me cannot cheat around, uh, around our area. My wife said me cannot cheat around people that knows us. Then the man will have, want to cheat when he travel. The man will want to cheat when you are not around. So I think telling him or uh, 
telling him that, please, don't cheat around me. Don't cheat around my vicinity. Don't cheat around people that know me. Is actually giving the man the, the, the go ahead to cheat. Yes, I will not say this to my man. Like you said, even if your man cheats, you will tell him, please don't cheat around me. You know, marriage, eh? marriage of 18 is like signature. Everybody's own is different. What works for you in marriage might not work for me in marriage. You might say this to your husband and your husband will say, oh, I don't want to cheat on this woman because she said I shouldn't cheat around her. And other man will say, oh, my wife said I cannot cheat around her, around the people that know her. So I'll just go far to go and cheat. You understand? So every man with their own, I, as in their, their, they have different things in their head. So telling this to your man, I think it actually give him room to go and cheat. Yeah, not cheating around you, but it's cheating and cheating. Whether not far, whether not near, cheating is cheating. You know, some people ask me, people that know me in person said, oh, you've been with your mom for a very, 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 very long time. Are you guys married? How long have you been married? I will tell you on my next video. Someone like me, I was afraid of marriage, this thing called marriage. So I, I builded it up. I have, I builded it with time to study, to know, to see if, okay, if this thing called marriage, is it going to, is it going to work? So I'll be sharing uh, my, on my next video, or I don't know, if you want to know about my marriage, you can put it on the comment section. So guys, so what I'm trying to say here, whether you tell your man to cheat around you or not to cheat around you, telling him alone, telling him alone, I think is not a good idea because not all men will say, okay, my wife don't tell me, say me cannot cheat around her, I will not go cheat. Why others will say, okay, after all, my wife gave me the go ahead, so I will go and cheat far away where people that know us will not tell her. Do you understand? So, these are the points that people were all, uh, reacting to, like, no, these things you said is not good, it's not good, but like I said, everybody has um, the, 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 the right to say is our own mind. We, are free, we have freedom of speech. And I, 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 like I said before, what works for you in marriage might not work for, you, for me. And I also heard you said in the head a husband doesn't cheat. Like, if, if um, they brought maybe a juju now, they will come and say, Lily Pope, come and swear, do your husband cheat? You say in your head, he doesn't cheat, even if he do. Yes, that part, I will also I will agree with you on that. That thing will not kill you, even if you go and swear. Why? Because you do not know if your husband cheats. There are some women, there are some women who actually know that their husband cheats and they will come on, oh Jesus, they will be the one to tell you how good, how best is their husband and they know it, they know that their husband cheats. Yes, on this very table, I'm here with you sitting right here on this table that I just uh, talked about, like in your head. If they ask you if your husband cheats or not, you will just say your husband doesn't cheat because you don't know. Yeah, you are very right, mama. You are right to say that. You don't know if your husband cheats or not. So why will anything affect you? Likewise me, I can also be on this table as well. If anybody comes to me and say, oh, Violet, oh, your husband is cheating. I will say, I don't know. My husband doesn't cheat because I didn't see it with my eyes. Yes, I didn't see it with my eyes. So I'll, I'll say, I don't, my husband doesn't cheat. People that know that their husband cheats, they see their text messages. They see everything that's going on. Their husband travel five times in a month. With, is, they are not going for a job appointment. I don't know, you as a wife, you cannot ask your husband, where are you going to? So you actually know what your husband is doing and you will be the first to say, my husband is the best, like, so she's bringing out a point that don't allow cheating to, to, to bring down your marriage. But my sister, sometimes you have to do it. Like you have to make cheating stop that thing if it doesn't work. Yes, you have to. Because these men go outside, they bring different kinds of diseases which will come and affect you. You, Lily Pope said in a video that some men will go out, contact some diseases, and sometimes it doesn't affect the woman. That is only maybe 2% out of 100. 
So many women are suffering from the diseases. There are STD, sexual transmitted disease, HIV, many kinds of diseases, gonorrhea, different kinds of diseases that these men go out to bring to the innocent women, taking care of the family. So on that one as well, many women are suffering. I disagree on that table as well. I disagree on that uh, 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 one that you said not all the diseases can come that, that the woman can contact, but I don't think even if it exists, it's just a little minor percentage like two, three, or percent, uh, percent of these people that doesn't contact that disease. So many people are dying of their diseases, they don't even know how it came into their body. Some are going from one hospital to another. So guys no insulting words we are not here to say oh we have the best or our husband is the best we are just here to throw opinion like she said lily pope said don't make cheating make you lose your marriage or doesn't want you to go into the marriage if you know your husband cheats for me <laughs> i know you guys want to know my opinion for me i cannot you know we women some we are some some are very soft in hearts some women are very strong. Kakara, can you know now? They can take anything. They will date as far as say marriage involved. You understand? For me, I cannot take a cheating husband because the thickness, eh? My neck, the bone that you will be seeing here, it will later it will come even one near my jaw. Yes. So some people will say, "Oh, my husband cheat. I don't care." Maybe those people they cheat as well. But if you are not cheating, like if you are not cheating, you will definitely not want to go for a cheating husband. Yes, you will definitely don't want to go for a cheating husband because I don't see any woman that wants to go through the stress of oh thinking my husband now not seeing two days he never come house. You understand? So this is my own opinion on what Lily Pope said. For me, I cannot go into a cheating marriage just in the name of marriage. If the man doesn't change or is not willing to change, I can't say, okay, after the marriage, maybe it will change. Maybe by that time, you understand? So, and for the fact that said, not uh, all men cheat, not all. Not all men. There are some good, God fearing men that they love their wife as in genuinely they love their wife with their own life they cannot cheat on the woman yes there are good men they, st they are still good men that exist i know some women still some women cheat as well if you see the things that some women do behind closed doors even some men self you go even they give them kudos but on this aspect we are talking about the husband so i don't want to divert the topic to the women's side so this is my own opinion about what Lily Pope said about accepting infidelity in a marriage. There are some men, there are men who doesn't cheat. And you can also make cheating not to, uh, to avoid you not to go into marriage. As for me, I will not go into a cheating marriage because I, will, I cannot, I cannot live with it. Mm -hmm. So these are my points. And I love you so much, Lily Pope. Thank you so much for all you do for we, your fans. We're loving you every day. God bless you. And in case you are seeing this video, please help me share. And I promise you by the special grace of God, you will also be seeing a very, very, very interesting content from your amazing girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for now. And I will see you on my next video. I hope you guys like my hair today. <laughs> I'm blushing. Okay, guys. Let's just talk. Bye for now. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.